We're at Calendar Park previewing the Lindsay's National Cross Country and we're with Freya Ross, Olympian, and Brian Burnett, our on-course commentator on the day. Freya, you've been competing in the National for about 20 years. What, what do you think makes it so special for folk from the clubs? I just think it's such an exciting event. There's so many people from so many different clubs from all over Scotland and it's just that opportunity to, to compete with the best in the country. And Brian, I know you love the participation element. More than 80 clubs, I think, represented the last couple of years. What, what do you think of the atmosphere on the day? Well, as Freya said, it's about that national participation. And this is one of the few events when we're seeing people come from truly all over Scotland. You know, from the islands, from the borders, from the central belt. The, they're all here. And that just adds to that atmosphere. And I think the way the timetable's designed, so when you finish your race, you cool down and immediately you're going on to support your club mates and their race and that makes for a really exciting day and Freya you've won the you've won the title six times and I think all of them here what does it take to win it apart from you know the obvious fitness and and and, and good health at the time but there must be other aspects as well yeah I think uh, obviously your fitness is is the main thing um, and just being in form on the day and being lucky that you're not injured or ill that day but uh, yeah preparation being uh kind of expecting the course uh, you know you never know it's going to be a wet year is it going to be an icy year um, just being prepared on the day and Brian in the last couple of years I, mean, I was just looking back at some of the, the recent medalists so over the years we've had Laura Muir uh, Ailish McCogan Callum Hawkins Andy Butcher Beth Potter all of them Olympians like Freya are we seeing this now as if you're a national cross country medalist you really are a hallmark of quality well I, I suppose it's no coincidence that when you're talking about Laura when you're talking about Callum when you're talking about Andy they've all been national cross country champions you know and like so many athletes behind them even going right back to you know uh, Seb Coe and Brendan Foster they've talked about cross country being the backbone cross countries where you put the work in that's where you learn to race and I think all the success that we're seeing now can be traced back to some really tremendous cross country performances and Freya there's a change this year for the women we've seen the women's race really growing in the last year which is exciting for the sport this year is 10k but we're hoping that there's not too much of a fear factor yeah I, and I agree I hope that it that extra 2k doesn't put people off uh, and don't see that it would you know I, I loads of women are running 10k on the roads on a regular basis so you know it's just uh, a different kind of cross country but um, I'll be there and I'm sure plenty of other people will take up the challenge. <laughs> Brian, when we look at the, the performance of Scottish athletes at the moment, you know, following on from Glasgow 2014, following on from Rio, do you believe that there is a legacy? Oh, undoubtedly. And you only have to look at the way that, uh, particularly since 2012, you know, numbers at this event, at this cross country, have increased year on year. And, you know, when, we, when we're looking forward to Glasgow 2018 as well, we're getting more and more people taking part in sport. But as you've seen from the atmosphere on the day, we're getting more and more people coming out and supporting sport as well. And Freya, I know you've been a volunteer here a couple of years ago. I remember you marshalling uh, for a number of races. How important are they to the sport for an occasion like this? Yeah, massively important. Um, they make such a difference to have those people out on the course, showing us where to go and um, just keeping the event safe. And I hope that people are prepared to, to make that commitment to, to kind of carry on and, and help with these events. And Brian, we're talking about the women running 10K and the men 10K this year, but normally... You run about 10 miles, <laughs> so so uh, so how's the training going? Well, we try to get to as many bits of the course as possible to try and really the excitement for everyone who's watching. And the running's not the challenge. The real hard bit is running and talking at the same time. And how you can train for that, I just don't know. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, Freya.